want to wind on you Show you what this wasteland do To all sorts of things to you I wanna make you my boo Now I want to wind on you Show you what this body do Put this body Good morning guys So today is officially week 3 It is the 15th of Feb I'm on my way to the shuttle um, So this week um, Plans are actually We are going to be doing patterns and we are going to be doing um, mock-ups of our first look of our collection. <sighs> how am I feeling? I'm feeling better than how I ended the previous video, which was the vlog, the week two vlog. Um, I hope that I'll continue to feel this good until, <laughs> you know, the end of the week. Where well, there's lecturers. <laughs> Please, you must not aim high when it comes to emotions. So, I'm heading to campus now, so I'll see you guys there. I've started working it for my look one I've got my sleeve over here and I've also got like my front and my back bodice which I've also also turned into a dress and that's the length over here okay so I can't speak much because obviously copyright reasons so I just want to show you guys quickly like everything it's looking like a mess but I'm gonna trace the sleeve now so that it can be separate and then I can start adjusting the sleeve too
this is the idea of the sleeve. I wanted to kind of like create like a petal like um, inspired sleeve or like a rose like inspired sleeve. So as you can see, let me just change the direction quickly. Like when you're looking at it from here, it looks like, you know, layers of petals and it's, it's, it's gonna be movie like that. I'm probably gonna add lining because I don't want these these hems to be shown to be visible because I just feel like it's gonna like create a very nasty or untidy look but yeah I'm gonna show it on the mannequin as well okay guys so this is this is the petals on the side view but I'm just I don't know like I'm not feeling it as much maybe it's because it's paper but I'm not feeling it but <laughs> okay the girls <laughs> if you have TikTok on your phone, it's also lal. And Umisia over here is cutting her pieces. Guys, look at Yandisa's design. Like, oh my god. Is it going to be in black and white? Oh, so this is the designer. Oh my god. <laughs> So this is what he's going to put on his dress. I'm not going to show you guys the dress as yet, but this is still the mock-up and already it's giving ah, levels. Designer, how do you feel? I'm very proud. Of who? Ah! Ah! I know, guys, if Yandisa is giving such excellence, it means Ukuti, we cannot fail him. We no, must we also cannot. deliver. Because Karo Kovay know us as the five. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I said, when I first started my vlog but um, so initially we are doing our first look of our collection remember our collection consists of four looks the first look is a one-piece garment minimum but they do prefer a one-piece garment that way it's not a lot of work for when you have to actually sew it especially depending on like how complex your design is right okay don't mind me I'm kind of taking out my pattern so I can cut out my calico anyways so yeah so that's the first thing that we are doing so right now this week what we've been doing is we've been um you know we've been doing patterns yeah we've been doing some rough patterns not the final patterns these are rough patterns and you could do these whether you want to drape your mannequin or not um so that's basically what we've been doing we've been doing um rough patterns of our of our garments right and then um what else did i want to say uh, okay oh also we're also doing rough patterns um uh, rough mock-ups of our first look that is basically to see if you know your look your side your patterns or your like the rough patterns that you've created actually fit you know the size that you're going for and i'm doing a size 12 that is my size and the size 12 is size 34. okay i'm sorry i didn't mute my phone so messages are gonna come in and up so, yeah anyway so right now I want to start cutting out my sleeve and the mock-up material that I'm going to be using for the sleeves is going to be um, organza. It's like a glossy organza. It's black and it's like 18 rand at Fabric Max if I'm not mistaken. So because these are rough patterns, I'm not really going to, you know, be deep about it, but I'm going to start from the bottom. Yeah, I'm going to start from the bottom. Because I had actually, <clears throat> I kind of like, I used masking tape to put these sleeves together so I could see. I showed you guys the clip so that I could see if like it's going to do what I needed to do. Showed it to my lecturer and made some adjustments. So like, this is the pattern. So my lecturer, what he did was he just drew some like really faint lines. I don't know if you guys can see this. Yeah, like you see this line over here? Yeah, he drew really faint lines to sort of like give me an idea of like a petal. That it's not like 
particular like the, the petals itself are not particularly straight or curved like they could be wavy because i mean a rose at the end of the day you know it's not um like a you know a proper symmetrical structure or something like that so yeah so that's what i'm going to be doing so right now i want to cut out my sleeve patterns on my on my material and then what i'm going to do is i am going to finish off my block i need to show my lecture these today so technically your girl is running out of time because if i'm not mistaken it's 12 that we have to show them this thing but hopefully they'll be here until later on because i don't even have a sewing foot i left mine at home if i'm not mistaken so i need to ask my mom if she could look for it so that you know month end she can come to town and give it to me because yeah yeah yeah
still the mock-up. I put my sleeve and it's giving what it needs to give. Uh, so now it's time for me to attach that little piece that goes here, the skirt basically. Okay guys, so this is like the rough draft. I only put in one sleeve and basically what I want to do is, um, well, I'm not going to do it now, just to be honest, like I'm not even going to lie to you. So what I'm planning on doing is like inserting, so this is basically going to have to be folded, right? And then top stitched. And then after that, I'm going to put a small, very thin elastic band that is basically going to kind of pull this in and just kind of suck it in. So that way it can sit properly on the shoulder without, you know, having um a thing to balance like a shoulder piece to balance it so yeah and then i'm liking this so it means that here i'm going to definitely make this piece tighter because in my design i kind of had these folds over here included even though my girl looks boobless i'm pretty sure when i wear this it's going to be very problematic but I mean, at the end of the day, this is not my final fabric. This is calico and calico is a bit hard to work with, especially in terms of manipulating and stuff like that. And this is like very hard calico. It's not even soft. So yeah, as you can see, it's looking like Dobby's uh, upgraded dress. <laughs> no, stop it. No, no. Um, I, one thing I also realized that I did a mistake on was that my folds are actually upside down. My folds had to be facing up. I don't know what was I doing. What was I thinking? I'm pretty sure it's the hunger. <laughs> it has to be the hunger because I'm I'm hungry. I'm not even gonna lie. Donate some food to me. Um, and then one thing I also noticed is that with the back, right? So I'm probably gonna put in a zip here. I don't know what size zip. Hopefully there's is there a five centimeter five <laughs> or like a ten centimeter? I think a ten centimeter can work. Like those ones that um the jacket ones, ne? It's very easy to get in because you just zip it up like this one, like this one, yeah. So that one would work here and then get an invisible zipper to be here. So possible fabrics that I can possibly use. Oh, another piece that I need to show you guys. So dots needs to be added at the back because it's just not, it's just not giving what I need to give, baby. But, 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 we've got good news. We love the sleeve. The sleeve, we love it. But like I said, this is not the final fabric. This is not the final fabric, so yeah. But so far, I'm liking it. We're thinking for the dress, we're going to go with scuba, some matte like scuba in red. And then for the sleeves, we're thinking Tule because Tule is like very nice and dramatic. So we're thinking Tule for the sleeves. And what I'm thinking of doing is maybe if I get like a soft Tule for this section, like the, 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 the one sleeve the main sleeve that is going to be holding all the other layers like the other layers of the sleeve in um in soft tulle because then that way it's not going to irritate the skin and then i can maybe get hard tulle like very hard not really very hard but like hard tulle for the top layers that way it has a nice flare to it because i would love for it to be flared out i don't want it to be like tired because this looks tired so yeah this is how we are looking and I think we can conclude this vlog, to be honest. Sia is looking at me as if I'm a lost soul. Oh, by the way, look at Sia's one. So this is Sia's um, dress. It's a dress, ne? Yeah. It's a dress, yeah. And she's still going to add some few details. So this is her. She's got a very nice looking um, mock-up. Like you could wear this because she made this with uh, poly cotton. And it's 25 rand poly cotton a meter, guys. Yeah so yeah this is a very nice one it's neat it's beautiful i like it and she could actually wear this well it's a little bit flimsy on you know in terms of like transparency but she could wear this if she was dedicated like if she doesn't care about her bums and her boobs being displayed like that then you can wear it yeah but i'm saying by like it's like it's very transparent the fabric so unless if you don't mind being you know megan the stallion cardi b Nicki minaj you know what I'm saying? Then you can definitely wear it. Okay, let's go to... Ay! What do you mean? The lady with the duke. <laughs> so this is the lady with the rock. <laughs> so this is Andy's um, mock-up. Also using the same fabric as me. And hers is better because, you know, like the fabric works because, you know, you know a suit has to... It has to do the doing thing. So she's doing like a suit dress. And I love the fact that she decided that the collars, well, the lapels, which are these two parts over here, yes, they're called lapels, are different. It makes her blazer look so unique and so pretty. 
what is the side piece? Oh, okay. So this is the side piece. So as you can see, her blazer has two panels at the back, which is the back, center back, and side back right over here. So only thing that she needs to do now is add them sleeves. Yep. And she's already sewn the sleeves, so now she just needs to attach the sleeve. But so far, I'm liking how it's looking. Like the collections are coming up well, guys. Look, one, it's in progress. And this is just the first mock-up. We still got to do another mock-up ah. and another pattern. Like in two weeks time yeah do reflection because you know we are always reflecting beginning of the week end of the week um this week was a relatively good week yes so pum pum is not available this week yandisa is also not available today because he finished his uh mock-up yesterday pum pum had to go to the clinic so she's probably gonna finish off her mock-up at home but yeah apart from my dry lips and my dry hair it was a relatively good week i enjoyed this week compared to last week like honestly yo last week was hectic but um yeah patterns mock-ups love it also our lecturers were non-existent <laughs> well they were here but hey they come and go but yeah i enjoyed this week and i hope you guys like this vlog and my ugly mock-up Please don't be afraid to subscribe, like, comment, and just be part of the fam, okay? Uh, look out for the next video. It's also coming. Um, next week, we're going to be doing design, well, concept boards. So, woo! With my least favorite lecturer. Bye!